guys just going to put this in the beginning of this video reminding you that this video will be the only one coming out this week just because um not last week but the week before that i was a little sick and i had to go to the hospital so i've just been catching up on my homework that i missed out on and um, trying to get back into the swing of things i do feel much much better so hopefully next week i can get back into our regular schedule of two videos a week it might still be one um just forewarning uh just because i have do have a lot of schoolwork that i need to catch up on anyway thank you guys so much for understanding and i hope you enjoy the video Hey guys, it's Sassy Cassie, and welcome back to another reaction video of Naruto. As usual, I'd like to thank all of my subscribers and anyone watching this video. Thank you guys so much for following me on my Shinobi journey. Second, I know it, you guys know it, even though I've been an anime fan for a very long time, I have never watched Naruto. However, because it's been out for so long, because of the internet, and because one of my best friend's favorite anime of all time is Naruto, I just happen to know some things about it already. No real major plot points to the best of my knowledge. I've just discovered that I don't know what I know until it comes up in the show, so I apologize in advance if something doesn't seem as natural as it should be, but there unfortunately are just some things that are out of my control, so I apologize. The Chunin second round Forest of Death has come to a close, sort of. In this episode, uh, we're going to, I haven't watched yet, obviously, but um, obviously something is going to happen and they're going to move on to the next stage of the tuning exams. So for my next episode, my friend, the one I talk about that really likes Naruto and that convinced me to watch it finally, is um, hopefully going to be joining me on the next reaction video because she says that that next part is like her favorite part of Naruto. We're not really sure how we're going to do it, especially because we live five states apart. I think it's five states anyway. Maybe it's four. I'll count later. We are going to try for her to watch me react to these videos. So hopefully it'll be okay. And I hope you guys potentially look forward to that so I can finally introduce you to this friend. I should also warn that I feel like I'm a little bit more outgoing when I'm talking to an actual person in real time as opposed to when I'm staring at myself in the camera. Um, I tend to be a little self-conscious, so be prepared for me to be a little more... That's the best way I can describe it. <laughs> All right, so for the recap, Obviously, two major points is that everyone has noticed how much stronger and more resilient Naruto, I mean, well, he's always been resilient, but how much stronger Naruto has become somehow without anybody realizing it, and that Kabuto is working with Orochimaru, and I'm so upset about it. I still, still can't get over it. I, like, I heard the voice, and it didn't click right away, and then when I realized, I was like, wait a second, wait a second. Oh, okay. It's fine. We're fine. Um, so I don't know if, I mean, but they're probably not going to find out in this next episode. This next episode is probably just going to be them figuring out how the earth and heaven scroll work together so they can pass into the next stage of the tuning exams. But I'm still very curious about how, because they're probably going to find out eventually, especially because like Sasuke saw the evil glare in Kabuto's eyes so like something some they're gonna know they're gonna find out eventually I don't know when but they're gonna have to honestly what I want to know right away but that's obviously not gonna happen right away I mean I could be wrong it could surprise me I don't know but um yeah we're just gonna get into this episode because the more I sit here and think about when they're gonna find out the longer we're just gonna sit here and watch me stare off into the distance or stare at the random people passing on the sidewalk because lots of people tend to pass me on the sidewalk and that's why I'm always looking over there <sighs> all right enough of me rambling all right they made it to the tower we're there it's a beautiful day it's the last day I'm so nervous
fire? Oh, that's right. Fire is a different symbol. That is, I remember, person. Summoning. What? It's you? Who did they summon? Long time no see, huh? Ah! Ah! Iruka! The best! I love Iruka. Just in time, too. And now, and now, you pass the second exam. Yay! To celebrate your passing, I would love to treat you all to some Ichiraku ramen, but uh, ramen? Seriously? That's so cool! Wait, I'm not done. So cool! Let go. <laughs> He's not even listening. Oh, he's so proud. <laughs> oh, he does have a lot of energy. Part of this exam was to test how well you could see a difficult mission all the way through. Simply put, you knew that opening the scrolls was against the rules of your mission, and if you had tried to open one, what? What would have happened? Oh, we're finally going to see what actually happened. We were ordered to knock out whoever opened it. Some ninja found that out the hard way. They knock him out. <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't open up yours, huh, Naruto? Uh, I owe you one. Thanks a million, Kabuto. <laughs> Don't thank him. He's evil. <laughs> what does that writing on the wall mean? The parchment the letters are written on is kind of eaten away, so it's difficult to read it. We can't understand it. Yes, it obviously it does. Actually, explaining that is another one of the duties that I've been sent here to take care of. Hmm? What, seriously? That's right. It's serious business. Give it a good read. Their instructions Lord Hokage recorded as principles that Chunin should follow. Oh. Yes. Heaven stands for your mind and earth for your body. If oh. heaven are your desire, acquire wisdom to take your mind higher. Get it? Ah, <laughs> oh, Naruto. Is in your intellect, Naruto. <laughs> he just called him out. And you, if earthly qualities you lack, train your body, prepare to attack. So if your weakness lies in your physical strength, Sakura, then you have Oh, called out again. You see these five days of survival were to test your abilities as Chunin and to see if you'd be any good at it. And I got to say, you guys really did magnificently. So they were watching them the whole time? Chunin's responsibility to be aware of the strengths and weaknesses of those serving under him. And to know what skills and training those ninja are going to need in order to succeed on a mission. Oh. Are you realizing how grown up they are? One more thing. Oh. The third exam, don't push it too far. Especially you, Naruto, I will. Ruka sensei Aww. I got this headband, I stopped being a student. So you don't need to worry about me at all, not anymore. You'll never stop being a student. Come on, Ituka, say something. Naruto, you're right. I'm sorry about Ah. Wait, those guys are Kakashi's students, aren't they? Listen, if Kakashi's got faith in them, then I wouldn't count them out just yet, Iruka. But he's their dad. He's worried. Not his students anymore. They're mine, and that's the simple truth. <laughs> he 
It seems to me now that the one who truly understands the strengths and weaknesses of these young ninja best might very well be you, Kendashi. Aww. Don't couch yourself out, Itako. We still love you! How is it? Does the curse mark still cause you pain? No, not really. Thanks to you, it's much better. That's good, but we better get back to business. This Orochimaru is one of the Sani, the legendary three ninja, isn't he? He's supposed to be so incredible. Legendary three? He's inherited the sublime abilities of the Uchiha clan. That kid. He's after Sasuke, right? What? Ooh. You're sharp. continue with the exams as planned why i mean yes obviously but like i'm so confused <laughs> sasuke and his team have passed too well of course they did ah after all the trouble we went through to keep them safe they better have passed <laughs> i see your team didn't do too bad kakashi they must have gotten real lucky. Of course, with my team still around, your team is doomed to failure. After all, what matters on the next test is ability, and we've got you far outclassed. Well, I guess it's... Oh, the way he speaks. Great, huh, Kikashi? <laughs> huh? Did you say something? <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! I knew it! Guy Sensei is just the coolest teacher ever. I mean, he's so cool, he practically glows with cool. Oh my gosh. Someday I'll make you proud of me. They're so funny. Is this gonna be a mostly reflective episode? Which I don't necessarily mind, but also what's happening? Aw. Lee, you're so adorable. Oh, the sound ninja passed as well. That's interesting. It's hard to believe that there are so many left after the second test. And so many of them are rookies. So that's why they fought so hard to recommend them. Alright, now pay attention. Lord Hokage is going to explain the third exam to you. You better listen carefully. I'm listening. I want to know what's gonna happen. To explain something about the test itself. Listen closely now. It's something that all of you need to understand. I'm listening. I'm going to tell you the true purpose of these exams. True purpose? Why do you suppose our country holds these exams in conjunction with our allies? Ooh. <laughs> to raise the ability levels of the shinobi and increase friendship between allied nations, to be sure. But mm -hmm. it's important that you understand its true meaning. Spit it out. They're a representation of the battle between allied nations. What? These exams also allow for a place where shinobi can carry the pride of their nation on their backs and fight against other ninja for their very lives. Mm -hmm. Many leaders and people of prominence from various countries are invited to attend this exam as guests and also possibly to seek shinobi to work for them. Those rulers will watch your battles and take note of the strengths that each ninja and each nation is developing. Therefore, the stronger our nation is, the better our position when it comes to negotiating with neighboring countries. Is this is all about military pride? The country's strength is the village's strength. The village's strength is the shinobi's strength. And the true strength of the shinobi is only achieved when it's pushed to its limits, such as in a life and death battle. 
This exam is a chance for each nation to display the strength of its shinobi and hence the strength of the nation itself. It's all about military strength. This is a custom in which balance is preserved by fighting and dying. In the world of the shinobi, that is friendship. The third exam is a fight for life with the pride of your village and your own dreams at stake. What? Well, he sure convinced me. Any test is fine. Just tell me what the details of the exam are already. I can handle anything you throw at me. Mm -hmm. It's nice to meet you all. <coughs> There's something I would like all of you <coughs> to do before the third exam. What? Well, that episode was a lot of fluff. I feel like I have many more questions than I anticipated. Obviously, I have all my questions from before in the last episode. But I guess I'm a little confused about this shooting exam. Like, I figured it's going to be the whole tournament style, obviously. Me and my friend, we've talked many times about how much we love tournaments in Shonen. It's like the best thing about Shonen. Well, maybe not the best thing, but one of the great things about Shonen. But what makes me confused... <sighs> so these tuning exams is about military power, but it's about friendship. But the friendship is the military power. And maintaining the balance to make sure one or the other doesn't have too many strong ninja. Or it's just to showcase strong uh, and up and coming like ninja so that when people hire the ninja for their military battles they hire people that are seen as stronger this is really it gives me like Yu Yu Hakusho vibes in like the dark tournament and where like you know you have people betting on like who's gonna win or lose but it also gives me like My Hero Academia sports festival arc like vibes because you can get like recruited based on your performance at the sports festival by like a hero agency. So it kind of gives me feelings of both and it makes me a little concerned uh, for this next part, but also looking forward to it. But also it is very interesting that they haven't had to do, they were saying that they didn't have to do like anything like this in five years because of the amount of people that passed. So it is, it's still concerning to me that I just, like, I'm starting to wonder what happened five years ago because they keep talking about, oh, this hasn't happened since five years ago. This happened five years ago. So I'm, I'm so interested what happened five years ago. Who was a part of the test five years ago? Does this ever get explained? I'm sure it will, but I have so many questions. And I have so many questions about how the relationships between shinobi villages work. Because I know that they're like friends, but they're not friends. Because they do these tuning exams together, but they're also the military power of their countries that the villages are in. So I have questions. I have so many questions. And it probably, it might have already been explained but it, but maybe, I don't know. Anyway, if it gets explained, you guys don't have to explain it to me. But if you know where it is I'm getting confused, feel free to let me know in the comments below. I would appreciate that because it probably has been explained. I'm just getting it confused and all the information is probably crossing the wrong way. It's not quite clicking. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm really sad. I want to know what's going to happen next, but like I said at the beginning of the video, hopefully in the next episode my friend will be joining me because that is her favorite part, her favorite arc of Naruto. I'm not sure about Shippuden, but for Naruto she really likes the next arc, so hopefully she will be joining us 
and we will go from there. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!